guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to be attempting to start my 10 horsepower Yanmar Chinese clone diesel engine here. Um, now, in the last video, I got everything all prepped up. I got it all mounted to the frame and everything. Um, so I just put uh, diesel fuel in. I have not turned the valve to open it up. Um, so to open it up right now, I put about maybe a quarter tank in. So let's open this valve up and uh, hopefully we don't have any leaks. All right, so everything seems to be good so far. So let's try to crank this thing over and I know we're gonna have to prime the fuel system. So I got a 17 millimeter wrench to uh, loosen the line here to the injector so we can get the air out of the system. So uh, I'm gonna put you guys up on a tripod and uh, let's see what happens here. Right, so this has normal battery on here. Um, it's only 340 cold crank amps. Um, when I do have to mount a battery in here, which we've got to figure out a place, because our engine took up the spot where it normally would be, so we're going to have to figure out a place for that, um, because this engine is a pain to pull start. Um, so let's see if it'll crank here. Um, let's see. Well, maybe we got to hold the compression release down. Alright, so uh, let's loosen this injector line um, and uh, see if we can get any fuel to come out. So this is a yeah 17 mil, and it's on there. But there we go. Now if you do this, you should have a line wrench, but I don't have a uh, I don't have any metric line wrenches. So uh, let's try to get this air out of the system. I got a jumper pack on there. Hopefully, we can get this thing fast enough um, and uh, see if we can prime the fuel system here. It's also pretty cold out, so it's probably not the best time to be doing this with a. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to spin a lot faster this time. Oh, it would also help probably if we uh, maybe turn it to the start position. That would probably also help as well. guys so I got the system all primed up here um, I'm gonna be completely honest my phone died recording it and it fired up a little bit but I only had it running for like two seconds so uh, I got my auto car truck battery on here is one of two um, so that should definitely be enough to crank it um, these things are 950 cold cranking amps um, I may or may not have uh, blew up a brand new lawnmower battery not blow it, blew it up with the sides are starting to expand, so may or may not have done that, but uh, you know, she'll be fine. So uh, let's get to cranking this thing up and seeing how she runs. Um, I have not had it really running, only for a second, as I said. So let's see if she'll start back up for us. As you guys can see, she's a smoky one, and uh, she vibrates a lot.
guys, look how low smooth this idle is. Idle super smooth. Everything is working good. Um, it does vibrate a good bit though. Um, you, can, you can see. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you can see my rear fenders are uh, uh, vibrating quite a bit. So we're gonna have to figure something out with that to make these uh, so it doesn't vibrate enough. But uh, it runs really smooth. And I'm pretty happy with it. So. Uh, do it to the next video where we um, try to hook this thing up and uh, see if we can get it to move.